Hello, this is Caleb Unger and Nick Losey in Engineering 460 or Digital Simulation class addressing Homework 12 using the box Mueller Number Generator. It says to only deal with the signed formula version of this generator given that these are random numbers that we're generating. And the constraints are given as J is any number that falls within that interval from 1 to m minus 1 where a is 131 and m is 2 raised to the 31 minus 1. Usually that deals with the, the memory on your computer. So what we're tasked with is finding the generator um, that gives us the max and min value uh, for such a random number generator and finding the frequencies that these are actually exceeded under box Mueller and they give us the estimates over in the right hand corner as you can see. So looking at the MATLAB code here, we initialize our variables at the top, then we set our parameters for which J will be created under, so rand uh, between 1 and m minus 1. So now we also set our var variables for R1 and R2, and those are going to be used within the sign function of the box Mueller number generator. Running 20,000 iterations of this, we then want to capture what is the max value in that array of 20,000 values, as well, what is the min value. And hopefully what we find is that the value should be no greater than uh, 3.54 and it should be no less than negative 3.21 and we do see that All right. so another portion of the problem mentions that we capture the frequency that if it does go above and below those uh, that range then we should capture the frequency of it so to do that we initialize two more variables for above count and below count and then as as the uh, as the for loop is running for the 20,000 iterations, we capture the number of times that it does that. And then at the end, for frequency above and below, we capture a ratio of um, the number of count that it goes above divided by the total number of runs and the same for the below count. What we find is that it is a very, very small number of times that um, that a random number for that sign function will at all come close to going above or below for the random values. So to conclude, we've been uh, looking at the sign function of the box Mueller number generator and then generating random numbers to plug in to that and defining what values come out, a minimum and a maximum range for it. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. So looking at the